Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing an end of month flip for my Louis Vuitton small ring or PM agenda. This is my on the go planner. So I take this with me everywhere and um, it's also my travel planner. So I started preparing it for travel just because I'm not traveling um, in March, but I do have my first trip planned in April. And then I wanna pre-plan a few things like for my bachelorette party that we're doing at the end of April and then when I go to residency in May. So I want to add that in here. But yeah, I have, haven't used it too frequently to be completely honest, um, but I do know I'll definitely get my use out of it spring and summer once I'm like out and about more. So let me zoom in a bit so y'all can see. Not much has really changed. So I do keep credit cards in the card slots. Um, right now I just have a Target gift card here. I removed the card so that way you don't see them. I have my vaccine card in here. I just try and keep, again, everything that I need in here. And this fits perfectly. Um, I do plan on getting a passport after I get married. And then I do plan on storing that in here. Again, with the travel portion of this, it'll be, um, it'll be nice to have everything in one area. On the rings, I have this Louis Vuitton dashboard from Salty22. It is discontinued, but you can follow her. Um, she does have different styles right now, um, but it is Salty22 on Instagram. 2022 Infinite Lotus Dashboard. Another Salty22 Louis Vuitton Dashboard. I have my inbox, and then on the inbox, I have these month on one page inserts from Infinite Lotus. This is just where plans come in, and then I just highlight anything important throughout the month and just have it written out, so that way I can easily reference it when I'm out. And then we have the essentials tabs from Cloth and Paper. So the first section is schedule and I have these dated weekly inserts from Infinite Lotus. So before I made them really cute, I, you know, I did, included them in my plan with me's, but I always forget to include them in my plan with me's. If you watch that, you know. Um, and I think it's just because I just, the plans are already in there. Or there's nothing that I need to add or, I feel like the play with me is getting too long, like you name it. So I've just been filming this off camera um, and no one's complained. So I didn't think it was like a huge deal not including these in my weekly play with me's. But with that, um, I also just realized that I didn't use it for a while and that's because I just wanted to put like stickers in it and decorate it and that takes time. And so after a while, like this month, I was just like, I'm just gonna start just writing things in. I don't need stickers in here. Um, so I just started writing in like different things. I've been using it way more now that I'm not like trying to like decorate it and you know add different things to it. It's it makes it a lot easier to use. So I started doing that and again um, using a little bit more frequently. So loving that. But um, here's this current week and how the month turned out. And then I just have I believe up until um, mid year in here so that way I can add any appointments or any plans that I need. The next tab is the notes and lists tab. And so back here is where I have all of my travel inserts. So I'm dividing them up, I'm dividing them up by packing list and then daily um, itineraries that are from cloth and paper. So this packing list is for my bachelorette party and then I have inserts in here for each day and then I have another packing list this will be for my residency period for school and then I have inserts in here for each day and that's how I just decided to divide them up I need to add more and actually plan I do think I'm going to do a plan with me um, specifically in this planner to set those up just so y'all can see that um, but this is the current setup and then um, I just have an extra one in here to start the next trip which I don't even know what it'll be, but that way it's you know also in here. Or if I need to like redo my packing list or I want to update it, I have that option. But this is now the little travel section. And then I'm just keeping this planner very simple. And so behind the finances tab, I just have this order tracker, which again, has been very helpful, especially when I need to check the mail. I think I might add, instead of like amount here, I might put like 
estimated delivery date so I know when to like go check the mail or go like grab something or that way too I can just track like what's coming in and when so yeah I just have this little thing in here and then that is the update so I believe I know the travel inserts are new I removed the meal planning section because I just wasn't using it and um, I thought this would be way more beneficial especially since I really need to start planning a lot of things and the main focus of this planner is the weekly inserts. So yeah, that is this planner and that is the flip for this month. And that is going to be it for this video. If y'all have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching.